then they can change. Comedian talk show host Ellen DeGeneres has been speaking out, voicing her outrage about the cruelty that spiraled out of control in our schools and beyond. It's an issue, obviously, she's passionate about. She's launched a campaign that allows anyone to donate to the Trevor Project, a nonprofit group dedicating to helping suicidal gay and lesbian teens. Just text the word KIND, K-I-N-D, to 85944, and you'll be charged a $5 donation to the Trevor Project. Ellen DeGeneres joins me now. Ellen, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you, Anderson. What, why is this issue so important to you? I mean, what, what was it that really touched you recently? Um, well, first of all, I just don't understand bullying, period. I mean, I, I started out as a, as a comedian, and, and long before I was the target of, of any, any jokes, any one-liners uh, on television, I just never believed in making fun of other people. And a lot of comedy is that kind of mean-spirited, and that is a form of bullying, of, of getting a laugh at somebody else's expense. And so I've never really liked it. And, um, and then when I came out, I was definitely the target of, of, of lots of, of jokes, and it, it hurt. It, they, weren't, it was, they were just putting them out there, but it was me they were talking about, and, and it felt horrible. And, uh, and so after I came out, Matthew Shepard was killed, and when Matthew Shepard was killed, I was devastated because I thought, you know, I could be a face, I could be some, somebody that would represent uh, hope to these kids. I know the recent death of, of Tyler Clemente uh, in particular prompted you to make your latest plea in, in this project for the, the Trevor Project. What do you think it was about, about his story that, you know, so, so, so drew you? Um, I, I think it, you know, Tyler was just kind of uh, just another person, and it, it, it's all of them. It's, it's, it's every, every single time I hear about a 13-year-old kid or a 15-year-old a kid or this 18-year-old kid, Tyler, I just, it's not uh, one person. It just, it, it seems like it just doesn't seem to stop. And the fact that, that uh, he was in the privacy of his own room and, and had asked for privacy, and these, these other two people thought it would be funny to not only watch, but then to stream it live, is the cruelest thing I can imagine, uh, how they didn't know that that would be devastating for Tyler when that got out there. When these things happen, it feels like a direct assault on me because I am that person that they are bullying. I am that person that, uh, that feels like committing suicide. They're talking about me. I'm gay, and I, I have been ostracized my whole life in, in society, and I'm sent that message on a, on a daily basis by the media, and, um, and it hurts. And I want to say to those kids out there, I, I have been through it. I came out. Um, I am successful. I am happy. I am in love. And, uh, and, and there is hope. It, it, it doesn't, you don't, you don't have to give up just because there's a short period in your life where it feels like there's no hope, because there's always hope. Do you find it surprising that people still tell gay jokes? I mean, that people still use the, the, the F word, that people still use that term, you know, oh, that, that's so gay. I mean, I, I, I think I mentioned this to you. I w w went to a movie theater this weekend in a preview for a new movie, a Vince Vaughn movie. In, in the preview, he uses the term. And I, it just shocked me that not only would they put this in the movie, but that they would put this in the preview that they didn't even think oh, th this might offend some people. And uh, I think it should offend a lot of people. Uh, I think it's so, like, you know, it's, it's, it, it, that message has been going on for so long and no one has stood up to it uh, that it just is uh, subconscious. It's just subliminal. And I think that is what is dangerous because, you know, kids see this and, and whether adults are, are saying something like that or kids are saying it in the schoolyard, when you hear it, you're just like, well, that's just, you know, that's acceptable to, to say and that's, and it also means you know, it's not a compliment. It doesn't sound like, you know, that's so gay. It's not going up. It's, it's that's so gay. Like, so uh, if we changed it, maybe that, that's so gay. You know, like, maybe we change the inflection and we can turn the whole thing around. Um, but I think that's the problem. Nobody is really uh, celebrating the fact. They're, they're making it, 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 and I think that it's, it's the parents' uh, responsibility to talk to their kids and say, um, you know, you have you have to respect other uh, kids for being different, and 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 it's you know it's just it, it really is just ignorance. Someone said to me the other day that you know that enters a kid's internal dialogue that that what other you know as an adult you can kind of you kind of put on armor after a while if you're lucky, um, but for a kid they don't have that, and 
what other people say about them weighs on them and, and it can crush them, it can kill them. Well, they don't, they don't have the confidence yet. I mean, I don't think I really fully, you know, uh, started feeling comfortable in my own skin and, until the, the last really, you know, 10 years or, or so. And, it, and, it, and I get more comfortable every year as I get older. But it's, it's movies, it's television, it's politicians, it's society saying, you know, uh, you can't be openly gay and be in the military. You can't marry the person you love because you're not equal to other people. And, and when you send that message out there that, that other people, that there are people in this world that are not the same as you, they're not equal to you because it just is creating a bunch of people that are, are judging one another and that's never gonna, that's never gonna be a good thing. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, I appreciate it. Ellen, thank you. Thank you so much, Anderson.